Deleting an object in the database is super easy. All you just type out is obj.delete, and that will actually delete that object. But unfortunately, this will happen on a what's called a git request, right? So we want to avoid that from happening. We want to have it on a, well, let's say a confirm post request. There are other requests. There's something called a delete request, but we're going to do it on a post request to confirm that they actually want to delete this. Okay, so what that means is we are going to render out a form in here that will just do a post request for us. There's really no data in here, but all we need to know is if they actually submit this form, that means that they want to delete it. Otherwise, they can go back um, a URL. And of course, I'm using this URL pattern here. Not a whole lot different than what we've seen before. Okay, so to do this then, it, we just are going to go ahead and say if request.method equals to post, then we'll just go ahead and delete that object. So again, this is a confirming delete. That's it. It's not actually the method to delete. It's just confirming that they want to. So if I go now on that URL for any given object, I hit say yes. And then if I actually refresh in here, uh, I see that it, it actually goes away. So the final thing on here would be to sort of redirect them somewhere else. And we could just do that with redirect shortcut and just do return redirect and we'll just go back a few pages okay or or uh, relatively we'll just say yes and that will bring us back to that so we can do something like that and that should bring us back a couple more times and yes this is actually deleting these things in the database so we delete it we say yes it brings me back to the products where i might list them out but this this is in the database we now see that those are all gone it is really that simple just to delete and confirm.